What's going on guys, welcome along to the second video in this series. Today I'll be doing a overview installation of this, the Vantru F1 motorcycle dash cam on my BMW 1250 GSA 2019 model. Now, like I said, this isn't gonna be a full on step by step, this is just gonna be a overview installation of the unit onto the bike. First thing I'm gonna do, take off the seats and I'm gonna lay out the wiring just to work out where I want everything to go. To make my life easier, I'm gonna remove the cover on top of the tank. Two screws at the bottom, just down here underneath the seat, and another two at the front here. Turns out there's also one more at the front, so that's three at the front total. Because I had quad lock mount at the front here, uh, this has actually stopped me getting to it, so I've had to remove the quad lock so I can get to it. Someone really doesn't want you to take this cover off. There's another two inside the little cubby hole. Hey, victory is mine. I'm obviously not a qualified mechanic. That's why I'm not doing a full installation. So far what I've done, I've put the 4K camera at the front and I've fed the cable, kind of following the contours of the bike and any other uh, wiring that I've got up there at the front, I'll then cable tie it to that. Pass it down on the inside. Remote, that's on the handlebars at the minute, just roughly cable tied on, that's the big one. Uh, and then the 1080p camera is at the rear. And I've fed that through, just pushing it up on the left-hand side uh, of the bike here. As you saw, to feed to the cabling up to the back of the bike, I just put a couple of cable ties together, put a little bit of a joint uh, at the end, cable tie uh, loop on one end, and then just fed it through and then pulled it through. Currently, we've got those three cables there. So remote, front, and rear camera. This here is the brains of the unit. That's gonna sit at the rear, it says. We seem to have a lot of space at the back here, but actually nowhere for the brain unit to sit. So I was hoping it was gonna slot under there, but it doesn't. So what I am gonna do is remove this with the one screw there, this unit, take this out of the way, and then this is gonna slot under. And there's loads of room back here. So I'm gonna put some double-sided sticky tape on the top of here and mount it on the underside of this section here. Here lies the problem. My garage doesn't have electricity. I use a power bank for the LED lights and the power bank's just run out. So I'm gonna pause it there. When you see me, it'll be the next day. Uh, kind of handy because once you start connecting the things to the battery, you've got the live and the positive, no dramas, but this also needs an accessories uh, connection. So it turns on with the ignition. So I've ordered some kind of tap-in sections where so I'm gonna tap into a certain part on the bike that is obviously connected to the ignition and then connect into the van true section. Well, see you tomorrow. And we are back then. In the post, these have arrived and these are the little T connectors that's gonna be used to connect power from the bike underneath the seat. I'm gonna choose a cable that is live on the ignition and then that's gonna connect into the accessory cable on the van true unit. First thing to do is disconnect the bike battery, then we'll get onto the accessory cable. Battery on the GSA is on the right hand side of the bike, taking off the little cover, negative first and then positive. Mm -hmm. 
with the battery now disconnected we move on to the next part and that is these so we've got positive negative and then the accessory so yellow is the accessory when looking at the bike on the right hand side we're going to see this plug here this is what we're going to use one of these cables to tap into with the t connector so i'm going to disconnect this and then strip some of this sheath away and then find the right cable pinch either side there are four cables going into this and we want the one with the blue running down the center which is the one at the back there with the t connector that blue and red cable is going to go into this front one and then the yellow accessory is going to go into the back turns out the t connectors were too small to fit around the cable uh, on the bike so i didn't want to do it but i cracked out the soldering kit uh, i haven't sold anything in about four years so it looks horrendous but hopefully it does the job uh, waterproofed it and now i'm going to move on to connecting the positive and negative from the van true onto the battery or the bike There we go, all connected up. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the brains. All it is is four different connectors, so really easy to connect up. I had this problem yesterday, one of the connectors is super, super tight. Find something to give it a helping hand. And there we go, all four cables connected. Moment of truth, start the bike up, see if it works. Don't forget to connect the bit that you've taken out down here. Two little clicks, good to go. And there we go, we have got the lights on the remote. What it did ask me to do is to connect a memory card. So I've got a 32 gig at the minute. I'm just gonna whack that in, see how big the file size is. And then if I need to buy a bigger memory card, then I will. Card goes into the brain unit. Tiny little screwdriver provided, luckily. These screws are so tiny. See that? And I've already dropped one, so give me a second. All right, found it. Now there's a memory card in, start her up again, listen to the remote. Start video recording. Wi -Fi on. Next thing I'm gonna do is download the app. What I'm gonna do now is following the on-screen instructions, connecting the phone Wi-Fi to the van true. And there we go, I can see the garage. No latency from the camera via the phone, that's pretty good. So far, it all looks very promising. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clean and stick on the front and rear cameras. Uh, add a little cable tie on just to make sure it's doubly secure. Install the brain units, like I said, um, at the start of the video, which was yesterday. Taking out that back bit at the rear, sliding it in, double-sided uh, sticky tape. Tidy up all these wires, make sure they're all tucked away and uh, nice and neat and then put the seats back on and put the tank cover back on. As always, all the batteries decided to die at the same time. So I've tucked the cables from the front to the middle section. I'm now installing the tank cover. I'm not gonna over tighten any of them right now. Just snug them in and then we'll go around after. Anyone else have it? Or it's just me? Uh, once you've stripped your bike down, put it all back together, you're happy. You look at your bolts box and then realize you've got a couple of bolts, screws, washers, whatever, left over. Just all the time on my uh, 636. battery cover back on. Now I'm just gonna loosely cable tie all these together just so I can get the main brain unit installed. For now I'm gonna try double-sided sticky tape 
if it doesn't work, I'll go to some Velcro strips. And remember kids, I am not a mechanic. Do not do, as I say, because it might not be right. Follow the instructions and uh, probably get a paid professional to do this. Okay, we are under. I've done my best there. <sighs> to get that to stick. If it does, it does. It doesn't, it doesn't. I'm gonna try something different otherwise. It ain't pretty, but it doesn't have to be. It's about 16 foot of wire in here. All that needs to happen is the rear seat to go on securely. That is all I need from it. Moment of truth. Well, that ain't good. That's the ignition barrel from the rear seat section. It's just come out with the key. I mean, the seat's on. That's the main thing. And luckily, this is due for its service. So, uh, the key's out. Hey, key's out. They can deal with that. By they, I mean BMW. So, we're successful in the sense that we've installed the camera. That's the cable in there. Just need to cut off these cable ties, but that's the main remote unit, cable tied onto there, onto the handlebar, and then into the wiring loom section there, and then follows it under there. And then we got the two cables, so the camera and then the remote coming down here. The only thing on the right hand side, you can just about make them out up in there. That's the positive and negative onto the battery in there. And then obviously we soldered the accessory onto that red and blue cable uh, connector at the front here. Fit it around this side under this seat section and then the brain is under there. All the cabling is on there. And then at the rear, that's the rear camera. Cabling down there. The only thing I haven't managed to sort out kind of is that because there's nothing for me to kind of loop a cable tie around there. So at the minute, that is hanging down. I'll have to do something about that, but I will figure that out at another point in time. And that cable, cable tied down here, under there, and then into there. That has been a rough installation. Like I said, not a train mechanic. Do not do as I do. This is just a guide of probably how not to do it. But it's in, it's working, that's the main thing. The next video in this mini series is gonna be my first ride out with the cameras working. Uh, I'll take some tools and then we'll tweak the angle of the cameras whilst we're out. Uh, I'll give my first impressions and would I recommend this for the average Joe to install onto their bike. Well guys, I am gonna finish this video there. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it or found it helpful, give us a thumbs up. More importantly, subscribe to the channel. We've got plenty more riding reviews and just everyday videos on the GSA coming very soon. So uh, until the next one, ride safe. She starts, I haven't broken my bike. Hey.